Hello friends, David Domingos here, a realtor in San Diego and also an avid motorcycle enthusiast for at least those who know me personally. Um, so I was pulling up in the parking lot today, I rode my motorcycle to work and a friend of mine, Bob, was in the parking lot and I kind of walked over and said, hey Dave, I see you haven't seen you in a while. Um, got a little Vespa and taken a motorcycle training course and had all these questions and one of them was about lane splitting. So, um, I've always kind of had my own opinion, but I did a little research, went online to see if it was legal and, and what people were saying and thoughts about it, and here's what I found. So um, before you honk or think that we're all bad, and there are some fools out there that ride too fast, talk about that. Um, let's look at the advantages. So um, at this point, it's August of 2019, and I'm talk this is in San Diego that I'm recording this out of, but um, depending on what state you're in. I believe California is the only legal, which we'll talk about also, um, place to be able to split lane or legal state. So here's some of the advantages. Um, so imagine you're, you know, sitting in traffic and someone whizzes by you on a motorcycle. Um, it's good. And it says right here, because motorcycles who lane split reduce congestion and carbon emissions. I like that. So one study, um, they did a, a study and it says that researchers found replacing 10% of cars with motorcycles would cut traffic, stop time in traffic by 63% for everyone. That's insane. And again, it drops emissions by 6% due to the smoother traffic flow. On top of that, I know it's hard to believe like it says, it's, it, it says it's so easy for a driver to hit somebody riding by, but actually, Riding between cars, as you see this guy here, rather than in front or behind, so you're in like a sandwich effect, right, is much more safe for obvious reasons. You know, if, if they were to get, rear, if he was to get in between these cars and rear ended, he'd be smashed. But between the cars, it's highly unlikely he probably wouldn't even get touched. So um, much safer uh, from being rear ended on a motorcycle. So by this, you know, it removes you out of the danger spot and puts you in this little envelope of safety, they call it. Here's what I found on uh, Cycle World, ran a study, and it, the study shows that motorcycle riding actually decreases stress and increases focus. So here's a couple of the another advantages. So it decreases hormonal biomarkers by about 28%. On average, um, it's like having 20 minutes of light exercise Heart rates increased, adrenaline's increased by, increased by 27%. Sensory focus, so um, your focus becomes much more um, observable to yourself. And then changes in the brain activity shows that it increases your alertness by almost like drinking a cup of coffee. So let's look at the advantages. Less traffic, better air quality, you feel better, you get a light workout, everybody wins. So what do you think? I'm curious to, to see what you think. Again, I believe right now at this time of recording, um, California is the only state, which from what I've read, it's, it's legal only because it's not illegal. So all the other 49 states have um, you know, made the law that it's illegal, and California, I think they're trying to pass um, that it actually becomes a legal uh, legal practice in California and then a bunch of other states will probably jump on. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this recording and this just may somewhat save someone's life, maybe your own. So be smart. Um, and I did read that um, the unwritten law is if it's over 30 miles an hour, you shouldn't split lanes. And if it is over 30, you, or I'm sorry, if it's over 30, you shouldn't split. If it's under 30, you know, it's up to you, but don't, don't go more than 15 miles an hour over um, the flow of traffic, which is just smart, right? Duh. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.